Ladies and gentlemen, our next battle of the evening, more championship action as we contest the interim ACB Bantamweight Championship. Our first battle making his way to the cage, into the red corner, Sam Greasy! Haymaker, hey. And I'm Robert Riley. And we're here at ACB and we're waiting for the Bantamweight interim title fight between Sam Creasy versus Jack Burkett. Yeah, you got um, Sam Creasy who's been around, he's fought a lot of the top, um, you know, top Bantamweight. Oh, he goes in straight away with three big punches. Good combinations from Creasy. Now, we know we know Creasy has got, uh, like you say, a, a lot of experience, you know, but. Um, you know, Jack Burkett's had five five fights. That's a nice check. He's got good hands, hasn't he? He's got really fast hands. Now the winner of this fight, I believe, I believe that they will take uh, the champion on, which is Dean McGivner. Yeah, yes, uh, yes, At yes. the next ACB. Yeah, I'll say Sam Creasy's very, very experienced. Fought some of the top guys uh, in a bantamweight division. Yeah. Uh, but then, then uh, you no, know, Jack Burkett is um, uh, another one of uh, up and coming uh, talents in the um, Amo uh, mixed martial arts here in St. Helens. Um, so yeah, the, no, this is an interim title for the winner who will face um, the champion. Yeah, you know, Creasy straight into into a really good high position there. You know, he's, 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 he's quite good for it. If he can control one of the arms, he can go for uh, what we've seen twice tonight already, that um, triangle from the top and roll into it. He can go for that if he, if he traps one of the arms under. Yeah, he's quite high up the, he's the very, body. Very high. Yeah, he's quite high up the body, uh, uh, Jack Burkett. Um, Jack can see that this is possibly going to happen. Um, so, so so at the moment, he's trying to defend that. And you know what? He's got into it. That's it. He's That's into I knew it. he'd go for it. I knew he'd go for it. And now he's got an arm. He's got, he's got a full arm extended. He's got the arm. He's got the arm. He's got a lift. All he's got to do now is just, you know... Thumb to the air. Yeah, do you That's know... That's Jack... Has defended reasonably well. Really and well. Sam's, really uh, Sam well. Creasy had to let go of it. Sam accidentally let go of the arm. Um, he, he tried to extend the arm and lift up, and lift up his, um, he, you know, his body. Uh, he let go of the arm, which and, and Jack caught it with, with, with his right arm. Um, Creasy had to jump out of that position and yeah. then get um, side control. Did indeed, and you know, and he's now he's now in a in a good side control. His hips are locked down, and you know what? He's got. He's even caught an arm. He's ended up in north south position. I don't know if he went to, meant meant to do that. Oh, that was. Uh, 
Jack trying to get out, but either way, he's still in the top position. Yeah, Jack, Jack from his back, he's still being busy. Um, very, yeah, very Sam, busy. Uh, uh, obviously, Sam's trying to get some kind of control of him, uh, but Jack Burke is, is, is keeping very, very busy. He's making it difficult for Sam, um, for Sam Creaser. Uh, Jack Burke is making it very, very difficult for him. Yeah, you know, Sam, Sam's uh, in a good position. He's trying to get through to that mount again. That's where he, where he was comfortable before. You know, he kind of he went for the uh, the all or nothing triangle, really, didn't he? Which you've got to be very careful of. You know, it can if you get it from that from that top position, yeah, it, you, it works. But he rolled it. He rolled out of it, and he you know he, he sort of missed the triangle and ended up in a bad position. But now I mean, he's back on top. He's, he's sort of dominating this round for my liking. Uh, you know, he's doing a lot of damage as well. Yeah, he's not giving he's not giving um, Jack Burkett um, time to even breathe. Uh, he's just mauling him constantly. Yeah, absolutely. He's, you know, and another heavy, heavy hit, hit there. Like I say, he's done some he's done some big damage to uh, to to Jack this round. Yeah. Inter interesting first opening round that. That could have been a ten eight round. Yeah, it could well have been. Do you know what? At the end of the day, the way judges look at it, Sam basically dictated the pace and also did all the damage. Jack didn't really do a great deal. So it, it was, yeah, he was moving from his back, great, that's fantastic, but are you, are you moving to get a position or are you moving to, to get out of position? I, I don't really know what he was moving for, he was just trying to stop being punched really, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, I say, you know, he kept, very, you know, he kept um, quite busy, um, as in, as in uh, you know, uh, trying to, like you say there, trying to get out of position, yeah. maybe trying to get out of, out of a mess, but regarding damage, um, there was nothing really done by Burkett. He didn't get a chance, let's say, you know what I mean? It wasn't that he didn't you know, do anything, he didn't get a chance, um, Creasy was all over him, um, and Creasy did a good job. That could have been, could have been a 10-8 round. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Like I say, it depends on how the judges look at it. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's it's all, to, it's all to play for still for Jack. I mean, you know, he, I, don't, I don't think he wants to end up on his back again because Creasy looks like he's, uh, he's extremely, it's like a, a rabid Wolverine on the top, isn't he? He really yes, is. Yes, very. I say, you know, um, Sam Creasy has fought uh, some of the um, top Bantam weights around. Um, you know, he's quite experienced in the uh, amateur Bantam weight scene. Um, so, you know, you know, he's fought some of the tough guys. And just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jack Burkett has the haymaker haircut today. <laughs> Straight from, uh, from myself. Sam Creasy starting off with nice outside body, uh, sorry, leg kick to the outside of the leg. Yeah, I'd say Sam probably wants to go once again, take this to the ground. Again. Although that was a nice chopping kick. Yeah, again. Petro Menga style, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, again, he one. chops him. Again, he chops him. He's gone for that. Yeah, he's gone for, gone for that level change. Brilliant landed, level landed, change. Yeah, brilliant. Landed inside control. Yeah, really nice level change. He's controlled change. the Took arms. The uh, uh, he's put the arm under his legs. Uh, he's got him like a crucifix. He does actually have a crucifix. We don't see this a great often anymore. We used to see it a lot in a. Uh, he's let go of it. Yeah, he's let go we, now. Yeah, we don't. He's got his arm free. See, a crucifix is really dangerous if you can throw elbows. That's where you can, you know, you can savage someone's face just by, yeah. by, by catching a crucifix. You know, I think you crucifix is always a, a very dangerous thing to have uh, in the pro scene because obviously, you get a crucifix, oh, you yeah. slam, and they'll slam elbows in. What I like about Creasy, though, if you look at him, yeah, he's punching all the time, but look, at, he's looking for it. For, for any submission he can. Yeah, do you know what? When, when he's dropping, when he's, dropping, he's not just dropping um, shots on um, Burke, he's, he's also he's, dropping shots and looking for a position. Yes, he is, yeah. He's softening him up and trying to get a position, trying to go for an arm, trying to go, you know, you can see it. Yeah, he's just, like I say, now he's, he's inside control again. Um, you know, he, he's, dro he's dropping shots um, to, the, to the face of Burke. Yeah, I mean they're not going to damage him too much, but no, and now he is. Now, now they are. He jumped straight into the mouth. Yeah, and we've still got, like, I mean, we've still got a bit of time left in this round. I don't know how long, but yeah. Um, we, you know he has got a good position. And he's took his back and oh, he's going to get choking now. He's just flattening him out. Oh no, he turned out quite well Sam there. Jack. Just, Sam Greasy just dropping bombs. On you know Jack what? It, it, the arms are there, ready to be taken, and I think he's going to go for one. I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he switches one pretty soon. There you go. Look, you can see him moving his Creasy legs again. forward to go for Creasy an arm. Just pulling his opponent away from the cage, stopping, giving him, stopping from any chance of getting out of it. And no, he's, he's always thinking. Sam Creasy is always thinking. If he's dropping shots, he's looking for position. If he's got against the cage, you know, he, he's trying to get his opponent and pull him away. He's constantly thinking all the time. This is this is uh, Sam Creasy's. Uh, the 14th bout. Oh, mate, he's, you know, hey, mate, he's just dropping shots yeah. at, at Burkett That's here. it, that's and it, that's the end of the fight. Back on, we had to stop the, yeah, the they, hall. They, they was, we've got a, we, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new interim bantamweight champion. 
you know, what a what a fighter Sam Creasy is. He, you know, he absolutely savaged the face of uh, Burkett there. And Sam Creasy will now fight Dean McGivney in May. Strong, strong performance by Sam Creasy there. Absolutely. Uh, dominant performance. Um, but, hey, um, round of applause for uh, his opponent, Jack Burkett. Um, here at the Beacon Centre back in, um, in May. Um, and now we go for the decision from Aaron Chatsfield. So the belt given there by light heavyweight champion Andy Clamp. Yeah, from my teammates, from my sponsors, and everybody who supports me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the new intro champion! 